So what I wanted to show you was basically how to spot a fake Brunello Cuccinelli garment. Now, Brunello Cuccinelli is my favourite designer. Um, I absolutely love their stuff, but they are very expensive, as we know. And I do tend to pick up most of their stuff in a sale um, or the odd secondhand piece here and there. And normally I haven't really come across a, a fake garment before. Um, it's so high end that they don't normally fake high end designers. It's normally the, the classic Gucci, etc., where they're made out of cotton and quite easy to replicate. But the likes of Brunello, Cuccinelli, and Loro Piana, high end quality materials, it's quite hard to actually replicate that. But anyway, I come across a, a couple of jackets that were quite well advertised actually on eBay. Um, the pictures were actually stock photos of them actually in a shop so that immediately I thought well it's actually in a shop um, and it was Black Friday sales and they weren't cheap but they were cheap for Brunello so it made me think you know these are these are in a, a sale um, and also the jacket as you can see right in front of me matches my bag over the back here so that's a, a genuine Brunello bag that I've got um, and the colour matched this jacket here. So I thought, do you know what, that's that's a good match, I'll, I'll grab that. Once received, immediately could tell it was fake. Um, and I'll give you a few sort of tips to, to explain how, why I noticed that. So, immediately, um, the colour is actually quite good in comparison to this real uh, bag here. So this is a, a genuine bag here that I've, I've purchased. Um, and the colour, as you can see, I appreciate this colour might not be coming out so great on the camera, but the colour is is pretty good. They've they've pretty matched it quite well. But this this bag, you immediately touched it. It's a very very soft soft buttery suede, um, and you can see here with the the classic Brunello zips, uh, they're double sided. So the Brunello um, design is on both both sides of the zip. And it's very chunky and also you can see here hopefully with the camera that there is the brunello cuccinelli uh, writing on the side bit there as well and as i say you can feel immediately just from the touch that this is a real high quality suede um, so immediately as i as i got this jacket out just touched it and it felt plastic it felt plastic and then by looking at it as i say the color's a good color but looking at it in the light it looks synthetic you can immediately tell oh hold on a minute there's something not right here this isn't a suede this is uh, a synthetic material it feels plastic plasticky um, and you can also tell when you look in the color you know if, with a suede that that moves along this isn't doing anything so immediately that was straight away i was thinking right i've been had here then you come up to the zips um as you can see so they, the zips are brunello but they're really thin not very well done turn it over really poor actually really poor um no double-sided there so again obviously straight away i was realizing yeah, this is fake this has been had um they've got the buttons done quite well um, you can see here Brunello Cuccinelli on there and I've got one of my gilets here actually um, and you can see here this is obviously a genuine gilet you can see that they've done that quite well um, on the opposite side uh, you've got these snap buttons here um, they've done that quite well but then again that probably might even be a universal universal snap button that they purchased for this um, so then we let's have another look at what else we've got here so we've got the tag. This is another thing that I, I think extremely poor. This is just a, uh, a bit of paper. They've tried to get that old style tears at the side here, but this is just really poor. Um, Brun I mean, that, that you could argue might not be an actual Brunello stock sticker. That could be uh, any shop have put their own sticker on there, which some do. But this is just really poor. Again, if I pull over my genuine gilet here, because I haven't actually worn this yet, um, this is a genuine one, obviously. So you can see here, I hope you can see it in the light, you've got uh, this type of eggshell um, paper. Um, let's see, there we go. 
So you can see here that this, is, uh, this isn't easy to replicate. Uh, not impossible, but not easy. And you get a lot, you get a lot of, in this booklet, you get a lot of stuff in here. Um, that's obviously a, a genuine a Brunello Cuccinelli symbol there. And then with all Brunello Cuccinelli's, you get the barcode at the back. Top right is always the size, large, or um, in this case be a 50, it's an Italian size 50. And obviously you've got the barcode there as well. And then all the Brunello information under there. If you notice after Brunello Cuccinelli, you've got the, the SPA there as well with a capital A. There's another thing I've noticed on some of these. They don't really stand out. Um, so that's how you can spot uh, uh, a fake Brunello Cuccinelli garment. There's also as well in, in terms of I don't know if I've where it actually is now but inside it's got the material um, and it's really really poor so this is meant to be a, a, a suede jacket. Um, all this is done quite well as well to be totally honest you know that that looks quite uh, genuine. Um, when we actually get the material out I can't remember what it's here so bearing in mind, this is meant to be a suede jacket. So again, I've done it in Italian size. That's fine. Nylon. Well, I don't know where the nylon is. I suppose that's the in, in the inside. Cotton. Well, where's the cotton meant to be? So we've got lana wool, cashmere and silk. Well, this is meant to be a suede jacket. So I don't know where that material is meant to be. So again, whoever's made this fake jacket has put in the wrong tags completely for the wrong garment. So immediately anyone that's familiar with Brunello will know that these are, this is the wrong, <laughs> the wrong material for this type of jacket. Now, if you're not used to uh, Brunello um, and you're not fully aware, if I'm being honest, this could fool quite a lot of people. Someone might actually think that this is a genuine jacket. Um, even here, um, it's been done okay, but it's it's not that great if you look at the, the the best way to look at this here is these bottom parts here with the breathable uh the wind stopper etc um i don't have one to compare it with sadly today but i have had some of these coats before that are wind and shower proof and the design is a lot better than that so that's another poor design there um and then i also as well as this jacket because the the price was very reasonable. I also got this blue one. Um, now, the design is actually a real design because I've actually seen this jacket in the store um, with this side pocket here. So again, that's what was making me think, oh, this, this is definitely, you know, these are definitely genuine. But again, obviously, they've come from the same seller on eBay. It's come from a shop in Ukraine. Um, immediately, obviously, you're going to have both of them are fake. Uh, the zips here are slightly better than the one on that previous jacket. They've got the writing on the side, so but then on, on the back side, it's there's nothing there at all. Um, same really poor design and just a photocopy uh, tag there as well. Um, and also as well, the double zip is quite a unique part of Brunello's, you know, recent garments. And you, I couldn't even do this one up. So I tried, this was the first one I tried on actually. Immediately by feeling the materials I mentioned, I, I realized it was fake. Um, and then I tried to do the double zip up and as you can see there, it got there and it got stuck. So uh, completely and utterly fake. So I just wanted to do this short video because I don't want anyone else to, to sort of buy any fake Brunello garments. Brunello is a fantastic designer. Their clothes are absolutely amazing. And if you get them, always try and obviously get the real the real thing because they feel um, and are so feel amazing and they're so durable as well. Um, I've also seen some fake jeans as well floating around on eBay, and the way I spotted them immediately is because they were tagged uh, the, the sizes were tagged in uh, UK US sizes. So for example, they were in thirty four. Now a thirty four is a fifty, an Italian fifty. They wouldn't be they wouldn't be labelled in a, as a thirty four. They'd be labelled as a as a size fifty because they're Italian. So that was immediately I noticed that they were fake, um, and they were listed as ninety nine p as well. So again, no one's going to be listing Brunello Cuccinelli jeans that are worth five hundred and fifty pounds, six hundred pounds for ninety nine p brand new. 
so that, that's obviously a, a dead giveaway. But the person, the shop that I bought these from, a little bit scary actually, not only did they have these jackets, they had gilets, they had baseball caps, they had jeans, they had chinos. They literally had every single piece of garment apart from bags um, that, uh, you know, you can buy from Brunello's catalogue. So just be careful. Um, I didn't, I've not seen a lot online about fake Brunello stuff. So just wanted to post this video. Uh, hope it helps you spot a fake in the future. Um, and enjoy your Brunello Cuccinelli garments. Thank you.